Message for you, sir. Take one. <laughs> hey there. Uh, these are of an old piano, the one I found last summer, the summer before. Anyway, enough of that gag. Uh, welcome. This is a Thursday beer video again. And why it's Thursday? Because it's a nice day out. And tomorrow's not supposed to be so nice. Uh, rain, I think. Uh, anyway. Anyway, I got a new beer, so, uh, what the hell, eh? Uh, it is April, I think, the 13th, 2017. Coming to you from Gallon Bray, Prince Edward Island, Canada. Which is on the east coast of Canada, and I'm on the east end of the island. So the beer we have for today is another upstreet craft brewing beer from Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. This is called Go Devil. <laughs> Flowers are coming up. Stand up straight. Jesus. Couldn't you sort that out uh, before you started, Chris? Oh, did I show you that? Uh, I need my act together. <laughs> so it's an IPA. It says, Go Devil. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. Prime for a good time and a little mischief. Go Devil is an American IPA, India Pale Ale. Which probably means it's got a lot of hops. With a tempting hoppy flavor and fun, fresh finish. Oh, yeah. A perfect beer to dance with the devil on your shoulder. Feed your fire and have some fun. Probably brewed on the island. So let's see what they say. Hoppiness is candied citrus. Color, pale moonlight. Flavor, fresh temptation. Remember the last, uh, no, yeah. Remember they won the flavor they said, you tell me. So, you know, at least they're saying here it's a fresh temptation. So that's better. Food, late night tacos, scene, hit the clubs, whatever that means. Tunes, sick beats. And it says this end up. So, the only problem is this isn't very cold. I can work through it though. It's funny because uh, two weeks ago, uh, two weeks ago I would have been sitting in two feet of snow. Maybe even a week ago. <laughs> Some guy, one thing about uh, when the spring comes and the sun is up high in the sky and when the snow starts melting, it usually starts going. But anyway, uh, go devil. It is, uh, it does smell hoppy. Hmm. It's a good taste. Could be colder. Mm. It does have hops at the end, but it's not an aggressive, as aggressive as hops as you might. Yeah, but it's got a lot of hops though, so. Well, I knew it was an IPA, so. It was also Montague. <clears throat> oh, let's read the thing. Price a gas. Price a gas. <laughs> gas went up again today. It's a dollar seventeen a liter. Ooh, that'd be uh, for seventy uh, gallon. <laughs> anyway, it was Santa Monica. Uh, my buddy down there that, that makes the hot sauce. Uh, he was putting them in the packs of 10 in a, a glass bottles, but he said they, they, they were breaking too much, so he went to the plastic bottles and a little bag like this. He calls them the burn bag from Maritime Madness. Also, he has now the one chunk challenge. It says, not your grandma's peanut brittle. <laughs> I don't know if you see me spit there. <laughs> Peanuts, real butter. Carolina Reapers, all in one bite with ghost pepper to top it off. So it's peanut brittle uh, with Carolina Reaper uh, hot pepper in it, which is one of the world's hottest. And then there's ghost pepper coating on the outside. So, so those are the two one uh, two of the hottest, and uh, they're on the. Have I tried this? No, I don't know if I'm gonna try. I bet you, if I get enough of this into me, I will. But not today. 
I just heard it on the old TV. And I'll put a bit of a picture of this. Uh, the, the U.S. dropped a big bomb in Afghanistan. It's the mother of all bombs, or M-O-A-B. <laughs> uh, 2,100 pounds of explosive. 11 tons of explosive, so it's a pretty big bomb. They said it was the first time it was used in combat. I thought it was been used before. But... This is a 25 cent chip you get from the American PX. Uh, if they run out of change, they start using these little tokens. But anyway, what I've been waiting for, and I'm glad to see it finally showed up. I shouldn't say finally showed up. I have a friend out west who has a friend. And they were involved in making like metal silhouette things. So I asked her to make me two up. And I'm not sure whether I sent out the picture for a machine to cut them out or not. But There is one, a uh, leopard one tank. Uh, I don't know what kind of metal it is. I would say stainless steel, but I'm not too sure. Cut it with a plasma. <laughs> Excuse me. Cut it with either a plasma cutter or water jet, one of the others. And then. Uh, Lots of gloss black over. So that's the leopard. And okay, this one. Excuse me. This is called a Lynx. It's a reconnaissance vehicle that uh, I drove around in. Uh, we don't have either of these vehicles anymore. They were uh, retired out of service or whatever. Yeah, there was. Uh, this is. A, they're not to the scale. This is much bigger than this. <laughs> but they turned out really good. Uh, and they'll do them up in either flat black or brass or shiny black paint. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Uh, now i got to figure out what I'll do with them. They'll hang up somewhere, though. <laughs> so anyway, uh, and those are looking pretty good. And uh, if, if you're watching this video, uh, whoever made these, uh, well done you. <laughs> and I'll put the link for, uh, if you want to get some of these, I'll put them uh, in the end, if I remember. So that's about it for today. Uh, it was... Uh, Go Devil by Upstreet. Oh, uh, 500 milliliters. And can you take a guess what the alcohol percentage is? 6.66%. 6 6 <laughs> Sign of the Devil, 6.6. 6. 6. 6. <sighs> well, I'll have that off camera. Been a funny week with all the bombings and uh, dragging people off airplanes. I heard in the news today, just now, that that, uh, that poor doctor that got dragged off the plane, he's saying that uh, that experience was more horrifying than his experience escaping Vietnam in 1975. So I guess it was kind of traumatic for him. <laughs> I'm sure he'll make out well. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for dropping by. I'm going to be a hold of... Dave, who was somewhere, and Ben, who was over there, sitting in the sun. Thanks for dropping by, and uh, come on back next time. Cheers. It's Chris. Beer. That's what's for breakfast, eh, Ben?